Well, hello, David Taub here from nextlevelguitar.com. Welcome. Hope you're enjoying your guitar journey. And we have a new uh, strum pattern for you today. Um, the pattern's going to sound like this. I'm going to just place my hand over the string so you can get the rhythm down. And I'll write this out for you in text on the screen. It's going to be down, 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 up, 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 down, up, down, up. So it kind of starts off with three downs, down, 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 up, 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 three ups, and then a down, up, down. So think of the strum like in three parts. You have that down, down, and then down, up, 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 and then down, up, down, okay? So if you're not sure on patterns, always try to break it up in this way and then say the whole thing. Down, 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 up, 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 down, up, down, up, down, 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 up, 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 down, up, down. If you could say it, you can play it. Down, 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 up, 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 down, up, down. Three ups in a row might throw you off, but remember, keep that. Remember, strumming is in the arm, not the wrist. Don't be cocking your wrist and don't tighten up. Nice and loose. If I just hold an E minor chord, it's real pretty strong. Let me play it for you a little slower on an E minor chord. It'll sound like this. Okay, so as a model, we usually take when you're first learning str new strum patterns, take a known chord chord change that you could do with your eyes closed, pretty much like G, playing the four finger G to C add nine. Very easy change, right? Um, and uh, just go back and forth between two chords. Finish the whole strum, change, go right to the next chord, right on the beat. It'll sound like this. I'll do it slow. One, two, three. Four. Now, if you can't make that change because you're uh, struggling a little bit with the strum pattern, stay on the strum pattern two times around for each chord. Okay, you could start off like that, and that'll sound like this. So we'll stay on the G. Down, 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 up, 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 down, up, down, up. Again, down. Down, down, up, 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 down, up, down, up. Change. Down, down, up, 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 down, up, down, up, down. Down, down, up, 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 down, up, down, up. Change. Change. See, at nine. Good. So remember, always when you're working on new strum patterns, take changes you're very familiar with and then expand on it. So let's take like maybe a progression now and we'll do the same um, strum pattern through maybe four chords. All right, so let's do something different. Let's, uh, I don't know, take maybe E minor to a C major to a G major to a D major. Let's do like one time around on each chord. So it'll sound like this. I'll do it slow. E minor, three, four. strong very good so get that strum pattern down down up 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 down up down or 
right? And then use that with all the chord changes that you're working on um, at this given juncture in your guitar journey. And then as you go along, and if um, you're checking out the lessons on our website, we'll show you how to embellish those chords and turn like an E minor chord into like an E add two. Hear the difference adding that F sharp note. And then when we go to the C chord, we can play like a C sus two or a C with a high G note, C sus four. Then we go to the G chord, we could add that C note. Right? This is all stuff that we teach you on the site in the D. Maybe we can play a suspended second or a suspended fourth. And then if we add, you know, and toss in and pepper in those changes, you'll start to create a lot of interest in your playing and some melody or additional melody. And it might sound like this. I'm just kind of making this up as I go along to show you the power of just adding some extra notes. Um, same strum pattern, same amount of time on each chord, sound like this. some of those chords better, uh, go to the chord library on our website at nextlevelguitar.com and uh, start adding more interest, more melody to your playing. But first learn run, then learn fly, and uh, uh, get your strum patterns and your rhythm and your timing and keep building on that rock solid foundation. All right, so um, we will see you in the next lesson. Take care and rock on.